Welcome back to Lou Channel TV. You watching the realest channel on the planet. If you are new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. And I'm Lucky Lou. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell. That way you get notified every time we post a new video. feeling like crap but I've been rebuking the sickness in Jesus I feel name. a little better than I did yesterday yesterday I woke up real sick but today I feel like it's going away I was coughing and I had like a runny nose and I was like no 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 I'm gonna show y'all a remedy today you take a uh, garlic and ginger root and you put them together and boil them and then you drink that like a hot tea and then it's gonna take all them toxins out of your body well, today Baby Houston has a doctor's appointment and I'm so ready for that because he's just, I feel like he's had this sickness the longest out of all of us. Like he got sick around the same time Gigi was sick. And now Gigi's feeling better and now it's like he's still sick. But as soon as we get to the restaurant, we will bring y'all to eat with us. Hey man, don't forget today's payday. I hope y'all been dropping y'all's cash app name down in the comments because one lucky winner is gonna win a hundred dollars every single Friday until the 90 day challenge ends. So, so if you did not know, we're doing a 90 day vlogging every day for 90 days, and we about halfway through, we almost halfway through. It's it's gonna be over November, like the first week of November. November 6th is our last day of 90 day vlogging. We just love y'all like that and we appreciate all of y'all's support. So make sure you drop your cash app right now down in the comments. Go like this video, go subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, imagine, baby. That's why I grew up. Everything was screwed up. Ask around, they knew us. Wanted to be a baller, like Young Star, Big T. Kept my shit underground. Bun B, Pimp C. Sipping on that toxic, still collecting deposits. Johnny did my piece and change. Jimmy did my watches. Niggas know it's lucky when I hit the turning lane. 84 and more controls, I done drove everything. Fat Pat and Kiki is what I came up on. Song pops, tops drop, that's my favorite song. Living legend, holla free SPM. Player made mess, cause we done done this shit again. I'm a legendary city. Know exactly where I'm from. We are back. Now if your city's legendary, let's light it up for everyone. Y'all look so cute. I love how they make their hot chocolate. They fill their mug up with um, whipped cream, and then look. Let me give you a whole little like pot. Yum. No, no, no. Here, you want some? I'll give you some. Mmm. You're bad. My son is bad. He literally just pointed the knife at me and went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already killed my soup. Yeah. Hot tea, soup, and I'm waiting on my omelet. Did y'all see this omelet? It's huge. Oh. It looks delicious. Well, anyways, I got me a blueberry muffin, as y'all can see right there. It's 
some French toast, egg, and bacon. We are out. I am stuffed. I ate my food and I ate some of his. So I think we're gonna head to Houston's doctor's appointment now. And I just hope everything turns out good. Somebody said in the comments, why do I never drive my car? Well, first of all, I, your business. I do drive my car, but when I'm with Lucky, why not? I like, I like just sitting back, chilling. What? <laughs> he said, mind your business. It's her car, but it's really both our cars. <laughs> Houston. Houston. So we're at his doctor's and he is just Daddy. running around everywhere. Babe, help him down. <laughs> what are you doing? Guys, literally since the minute we walked in, he's been running around screaming like crazy. Oh! What's wrong with you? I had to take a dump. Hey, what? Tagger it. Say, little boy, you giving mama a hard time? You don't eat that. Blue. Blue. Green, yeah. green for the money, yellow for the honey. Green. Red. Yeah. Oh. Say, little boy. You want pop, pop? Uh -huh. So I just got an email. I just got an email from Kingston School saying that they're referring him for gifted and talented. Oh yeah. Well. Well, so what? It ain't about what he wants. We're proud of you, Kingston. Gifted and talented. Just like his daddy. We back at home. I had to go take me a shower. It's hot as hell out there. I was sweating. But uh, we just went to the grocery store and came back. And I got my good old ginger root. With this garlic. Some lemon. And some honey. The lemon and honey is just so it'll taste better. Because the ginger and the garlic make it just taste bad. And it make your breath stink. I got my ginger root and my garlic. Chingo Bling taught me this remedy. When we was out of town one day and I was sick, really sick. You know, my medicine was not working. I was just hella sick. And they went to the grocery store and they came, knocked on my room and they brought me this and they put it in a cup and put it in the microwave. I had a microwave in my room and they put it in a microwave in a cup and I drank it. And then about three in the morning, I woke up sweating, full of sweat. I went and banged on his door like, man, what the hell did you give me? And he said, no, nah, that's what it's supposed to do. You sweating out all your sickness. And the next day I woke up and I was 100. So ever since then, this is the last resort because it don't taste good. In the morning when you wake up, your breath stinks. Even your sweat smells like garlic. But it does the trick when all else fails. While we let that boil and do what it do, we're gonna come over here and get down to the nitty gritty. This Nolan Ryan, Texas grade A USDA prime beef brisket. You smell me? How many pounds is it? It's about 12 pounds. We got, babe, we got 12 pounds of brisket for me and you. 12 pounds of brisket, baby, hold up. This gonna last us all weekend. We be miss y'all miss all the good conversations. We just had a funny ass conversation off camera. He really tried to play me right now. All right, let me show you how it's done. Now I know that a lot of people grill their briskets in the barbecue pit, slow and low, but that ain't how I cook my briskets. I cook my briskets in the oven, low and slow, on about two seventy five for about. Four or five hours. Babe, okay, why don't you just get scissors? So, in my shot glass, it'll take me a shot of douce if this garlic don't work. I, I, it's not even gonna fit on my cutting board. I don't even know why I got my cutting board. I'm gonna just have to put this slab in the floor. Oh, 
Now watch me. Watch me work. So we're gonna cut off this fat. Y'all know what y'all need to give me? Hey, uh, Luciano TV fans. If y'all wanna get me something for Christmas, I want an apron and a chef hat that say Luciano TV. We're gonna leave some fat, but we're gonna take a lot of the fat off. And you put leave so much fat on there, it makes it too juicy in here. And it, you'll be you'll have a whole bunch of it'll be like soupy. And you don't want all that. <laughs> Babe, hold on, let me help you. Hold on. Let's put a rag under this uh foil pan. Why? Because it's slipping and sliding? <laughs> Right here, look. Pick it up. I really need them scissors for this fat. No, they're not heavy duty. Don't worry, it landed on the plastic. Why don't you pull the trash can out and just Cause put the it trash in. can's filled up, baby. Why don't you just throw stuff? Oh Lord. Tell them what they're what you're doing. I'm cutting the fat out so you don't have the shits when you eat it. Cause if not, you're gonna be sitting on the toilet with the runs. That'll mess a good brisket up when you go to bite it and you get nothing but fat or a good brisket sandwich. You don't want that. I'm gonna cut all that out. See? Can you use that for bacon? You're taking too much meat off of it. I don't know. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh. Yeah, all lucky wanted me to do this. <laughs> you couldn't do it, baby? This is a man's job, babe. I got you. I got you, baby. Chopping this up. It's like I'm chopping a whole body up. <laughs> you said that proud. Sure, I chop a nigga up, burn him in my fireplace. Babe, shut up. <laughs> the family channel. So what we did is butterfly this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? For the record, I didn't want him to buy this big old steak or whatever, this big old brisket. Why not? You because, don't your mama and your sister over. Because every time we make this, it either... Y'all want to come over? Goes, Do anybody want to come over or come eat with us? It either goes to waste or it just goes bad. Because he tells me to put it in the fridge that he's going to eat it later. And it never does. If anybody got my phone number out there, call me up. Tell me, tell me you want to come eat some brisket. I just might invite you over for some brisket. You got to hold the fat, not the meat. Uh, I'm out of breath already cutting this steak up. I'm cutting this brisket up. You, you're not gonna cut all the fat off. You just you're gonna leave some of the fat, but just cut you know most of it off. That way, you don't see me eat this meat raw Ugh. like an Indian. Babe, ah. Shut up! Oh my god, I thought you were gonna do it. <laughs> shout out to all the vegetarians out there. This is a Texas thing, baby. It's that Nolan Ryan beef. All right. We're gonna leave the rest of it on there. Just for a little flavor. You got know what I mean? Alright. Somehow the pollo pan still moved. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of meat. We're gonna have brisket sandwiches for days. Meat tenderizer. Marinade. This is for your no, chicken. No, it's not. It's for everything. It has oranges, apples, garlic, and uh, look, look on the side. Look oh, on the other side. A little bit left yeah. anyway. That's just the last of it. Oh. 
Hold on. There. Latin heat. Give it that Latino flavor. And then your salt and pepper. Cutting up some onion now. I'll put onions up in there. Just one whole onion. Cut up some tomatoes, the little tomatoes like this. Big chunks, not little chunks. So, wait, are you gonna cook it right now? No, I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator overnight <laughs> so after we put all this stuff to it bless you we're gonna put foil on top and put it in the refrigerator then in the morning I'm gonna take it out the refrigerator about 8 o'clock in the morning and put it in the oven on 275 and it'll be ready around lunchtime 9 10 11 12 1 about 1 o'clock it'll be ready and the whole house gonna be smelling great this is zucchini like a gourmet meal right here baby and uh, the last of our carrots that we didn't use for the soup we made one of the kids is here I hear them the girls these kids don't even realize how blessed they are to come home and have their parents here waiting for them cooking you know what I'm saying most kids don't come home to their parents every day do y'all realize how blessed y'all are? Mm -hmm. For real, for real, do you really? Yeah. We're over here making a gourmet meal for you. Cutting up some zucchini. I love zucchini. I know you do. Gigi don't like Mexican food, but she loves steak and like Texas food. Barbecue, mm -hmm. zucchini and stuff like that. Okay, oh, I forgot to cut up some garlic. My mouth is watering. Get a camera, get a close up on this. Lady. Bring a camera over here. That looks so good. It's gonna go in the fridge up for overnight and marinate overnight with a little bit of this chicken powder with some water and chicken powder in there with foil on top overnight. And in the morning, it's gonna be ready to go. But what are we going to eat today? Chicken tacos. Okay. This whole time I've been messing that brisket. This here been been cooking. This is the garlic and the ginger root. I'm telling you, man, I was sick. We were up north, like in Portland, Oregon, somewhere back in like 2007, and I was so sick. I was taking medicine, nothing worked, and we had to do a show, and then. That boy Chingo said, I got something for you. And they went to the grocery store and came back with a ginger root and some garlic. And I was like, what in the hell? And they got the little, they put it in the microwave, whipped it up for me, and I drank it. And sure enough, I sweated everything I had in me out. And the next day, I was good to go. But today, I'm going to add some honey and some lemon because it tastes horrible. And then I'm going to stir it up. And I'm gonna drink it with my pinky up. Hi, how is your day going? Eating these spicy chicharrones. Oh, I love it. I like those without the wild and not spicy. So. Take your horse over there, girl. Yeah, take your horse over there. Okay. Let me just play with your horse. Okay. Okay, guys. So, guys, we got a package in the mail, and we're about to see what it is. Shout out. Okay, go. To Jeremy Lopez from Midland, Texas. I, can I get it? Go ahead, pull it out. Oh, in the book. As a man, thank you. Yeah. 
by James Allen. Luciano TV. That's nice. 2019. Hey, hold on. He got majaritos. Uh. This is dope. We're going to hang this right up there on the fireplace. So when we vlog in the living room, you're going to see it right there on our fire. Maybe right there. Somewhere in the living room, we're going to hang this up. And this book is dope. I've heard of this book. Oh, I, like it. I actually watched uh, the dude talk. I've watched the dude talk about this book on YouTube before. Um, what's that old man's name with the white hair, baby? Bob Proctor. I've been watching Bob Proctor on uh, YouTube, and he was talking about this book as a man thanking this one and thanking Grow Rich. So appreciate you. I am gonna read this book. From poverty to power, as a man thank it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Anything you can picture in your mind's eye, you can have in your reality, man. I used to picture myself surrounded by love with all these children and a nice house of my own. And here I am today, surrounded by love. Good job. Get my wallet, little boy. I'm trying to run off of my wallet. <laughs> he really does have your wallet. He's like, we got to make a run for it. Kelly Jean. I like how he has one sock on. <laughs> It's payday, ain't it? Let's see who won. Who, who won today's payday? It's payday, guys! Oh. If so, if you want to win next time, make sure you type Whoa. down below in the comments your, um, what is it? Your cash app name, and yeah, we cash app name. pick somebody every Friday. And we send $100 to y'all. Hey, hey, don't put that plastic around your face. You're going to choke. So today's winner goes to... Shanisha. Shanisha. W. W. So today's winner is Shanisha W. Thank you so much for watching, girl. From where? Uh, I don't think she put her. Did she put a little? Uh, oh, she's a uh, Native American. Native American. Shout out to my natives out there. So, uh. But yeah, Shanisha W, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and showing us love, girl. So we are going to be sending you your $100 today. Already, man. I feel like crap, you guys. You should have drank some of that garlic water. Y'all see how clean this kitchen is? I want it that clean when y'all done. Leah, Leah, huh? when's your birthday? September 21st. September what? Yay! First. September 21st. And how old you turn it? Mm, seven. Seven? <laughs> Say, look out, Luciano TV. Y'all go ahead and send my present to the fan mail address. <laughs> September 21st. <laughs> don't be shy. Close mouths don't get fed. Bye. Leah Leah's birthday is September 21st. It's four days after Kingston's. And she turned seven years old. So we got two birthdays this month, <laughs> back to back. <laughs> y'all gonna share a birthday cake. Can we get two? Uh, as long as y'all clean y'all mess, y'all can get whatever y'all want. Okay. Houston, what you doing in the kitchen with this Spider-Man balloon? Guys, apparently my dad knows how to make homemade dressing. Well, wow, this will be the best dressing Ow. you ever ate in your life. Yo, Bubba's yeah, medicine. Pardon me. Do you have any gray poupon? Gray poupon, really? Look at him. So you're gonna get this gray poupon. And you're gonna put a little bit up in the bowl. I have to and then you're gonna get you some of this. And while you pour this, you're whipping it. With a knife. You're supposed to have a little whip. I mean a little whisk. It's smelling pretty disgusting. So what I just put in there is Grey Poupon and some balsamic vinegar. I'm going to show you the bottle right now. So I mixed. I need to buy some more. I'm on, down to my last drop. Balsamic vinegar. Pure balsamic vinegar. This ain't no dressing. This is just pure balsamic vinegar. Grey Poupon. Dijon mustard. Mustard, Dad, really? Yeah, shout out to my chef, JD. He's the one who told me how to make this dressing. And then you pour it on there. That's... Yeah, let's call up the chef. That was the person that cooked for my birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because...
was, you know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, check this out. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. Houston, what do you want? Thank you, Lily. Stop it. Um, my bad. <gasps> then no. He's biting my thigh. <laughs> What do you want? He just wants you! Oh, I know! Oh, wait till I throw my olives on. Hold up, baby. No one in the house likes olives but dad. These are Kalamata pitted olives. That's looking disgusting. Hold on, baby girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's trying to leave me over here with all of y'all. We don't need a hire. Uh, actually, you know what? We we can hire a chef, and then we can tell him that. I'm trying to eat my salad. And it's hard to give me to know. How about some speaking? Oh my gosh, can Dad's not gonna put that in the vlog anymore. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.